everyone, I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY. And let me tell you, here in Kansas City, it is blue October. It has been 29 years since the Royals have made it to the playoffs, and I'm telling you, we're excited. So this DIY project is dedicated to our very own Kansas City Royals. Today we are making beautiful bracelets out of baseballs. We've got some that are bedazzled, some that are vintage. We have, uh, you know, anything you can think of that you can do. Um, that's what we're making on our bracelets today. So let's just get started because we've got a lot to cover. You're going to start with just a good old baseball, and that can be a new one or it can be a used one. So your mind should start turning here about all the different places you probably have some baseballs stuck around the house. And an X-Acto knife. What we want to do is start actually cutting right in between the seams of the baseball, right dead center in between them. Okay, once you have done that and gone all the way around, you will, it will be so easy to just pull it right off of the baseball. Have you ever wondered what was underneath there? Well, you're going to find out. One baseball gives you two bracelets. Okay, so now we have our bracelet piece. I'm gonna just toss that ball. Okay, so now the next thing you wanna do is start removing all of these little threads, okay? They will come off fairly easy. They're kind of a pain in the rear end to do, but you know, watch a good show, do it with family, have a cocktail, whatever you want to do just to get all of these out, okay? Once you have all of these out, we're going to restring this in Royals Blue Thread. Okay, so for mine, I am using number 797. It's embroidery thread in a Royal Blue, okay? Um, to make, to thread an entire baseball bracelet, you will need four feet of embroidery thread, okay? So let's just act like this is four feet that I've cut off here. What you want to do, there are six threads inside this embroidery thread. So you want to split it into threes. So you'll have two sets. See how we do this? Two sets of four feet in length embroidery thread. Now we want to put it into a needle. You need a good, a craft needle that has a big enough head on it to get this thick thread through it. So you're going to see my little trick on how I do this. Anybody who watches my segments knows that I'm not a very good sewer. So you're going to see here, I start to sweat a little bit when I get this needle and thread out. But I'm just going to tie a knot in the bottom. This is just going to hold it. All right, and you're going to need a total of eight feet, but I definitely suggest that you split it in half. It's too much to try to get all of that through this. So I like to work in the four foot sections because once you've split it in half, right, because you're putting it, doubling it up, once you have it doubled up and tied in a knot, you're ready to start lacing. So pick a spot on your ball and just start looping it back through the holes where the other seams were. All we're doing here is we're just making this a little bit more festive royals. If your particular team is red, then you could just use the original seams that were already there. But I'm telling you, we are crazy for royals blue around here. Okay. So you would go all the way around your entire cuff, tie it off, and this is what you will end up with, okay? Um, now we're ready to, to bedazzle it, so to speak. Make it your own. That's what we really want to do at this point. Okay, so it's kind of flimsy right now. So you have a couple of options. We can either put a clasp on it, and I want to show this clasp. I just picked this little toggle clasp and we could just sew it to the bottom 
of each side right onto our thread and that would hold that onto our wrist. The other option and kind of what I like best is I'm going to make it into a cuff. And so I'm going to use some baling wire. It takes 17 inches of baling wire to make a clat or a cuff for this bracelet. So with this baling wire, I'm making a figure eight shape and it's creating the structure for our cuff. So what's going to happen is I've got it here connected and I've got my cuff and what I'm going to do is actually hot glue this baling wire right into the back of the cuff. So I'm going to do that right now because that is basically how this is all going to hold together. You know, I'm all about my hot glue and my E6000 and as little sewing as possible. So this was a better option for me. Also, some people have larger wrists. And so this is a good way to make an, a one size fits all. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna just place it right inside there. Press it down. Be careful not to burn yourself. Okay. And I'm, an, I'm one of these people that thinks you can never have too much glue. So now I'm gonna sandwich a little bit more glue over the top. And I know right now you're thinking that is so ugly. Who's gonna want that uncomfortable thing on their back of their wrist or on the front of their wrist, whatever, but on the back of the bracelet, right? You know I wouldn't do that, right? You know I would fix this and make it pretty. So what I'm gonna do is take some felt and I've actually cut a little template because we've been making these things all day long and I made a little template. How I did that was I just took one of these, I laid it down, used a Sharpie, drew around it, and I made one of these. I just cut it out with a pair of scissors. And we made this, this we have one that says master and it's our master copy that we pass around. So now I'm gonna put this right over the top of my bailing wire because we don't wanna see that, right? We want people to think this is very stylish. All right, so I'm gonna glue this right to that. And I'm gonna go ahead, I love glue, I love hot glue because it's like glue strings everywhere. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of mold it a little bit just because it naturally wants to do that. All right, so here we are. This is where we are right now. We're still gonna finish it. We're gonna cuff it around our wrist, but this gives us a little uh, structure to it. So now we have a stand. Okay, so now we get to decorate it and do whatever we want. So I wanna show you the options. Okay, this is a really cool little machine. It's by Epiphany uh, Crafts and it is a circle punch. But what's really neat about it is, well, let me just show you. Okay, so I got on my computer and found all these Royals um, logos. Okay, there were different ones. I did them in a very small size. I was able to do that for free on my computer. So I found a couple that I really liked. One of them I really liked was this round circle. So with this Epiphany cutter, what you do is you slide your Let's see, you slide your thing that you want in there. Can you see that? You put it right in the window, right where you want it. And then, this is the coolest part. They have these epoxy covers that you can put on them. They have some stick to them. You stick it right in the window there, and then you close it, and then you just press it. So easy, pull it out, And it's got, it's like an epoxy sticker that's thick and awesome. And so now even better are these bottle caps that are flat. All of this is at the craft store. It's crazy. It slides right inside there. So I'm just going to take a little glue 
glue strings and all, put my little Royals thing in there. Now it's sealed. Now, options are unlimited. I could glue this on, do some gems, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I wanna show you something even cooler. Okay, so you know how I am about repurposing and recycling and having things that you can use for generation after generation. Well, let me see where I put it. Uh, looking for, oh, right here. I found this, Michael's Craft Store in the jewelry department. So it's, a, it's supposed to be a locket. You're supposed to hang it on a chain right here. You can open it up, put a picture in it, wear it on your neck. Okay, well, I'm not doing that, right? I'm making a bracelet for the Royals. So, same exact size of hole punch. So, I'm not gonna use my epoxy sticker this time. I am just going to cut a Royals. Let me get this in here where I want it. Um, and sometimes you have to trim it a little bit to make it fit. Scissors! Scissors. Okay, so you just kind of have to cut it to make it just fit right where you want it so it fits right in that window. Okay, because you want your circle to be perfect. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Let's see. Okay, so see how I've got it in there now? So exactly where you want it, you just close it, punch it. Circle punch is perfect. Pull it out. You know why it's not coming out? Because I have glue all over my fingers. But now I can open this up, put my Royals picture inside, close it. I'm gonna hot glue it to my little cuff here. And what I love about this is I'm actually gonna turn it. So where this was supposed to be for your necklace, I'm going to turn it, which you can move this around however you want, because I'm going to use this to hang like an R or a believe or a crown or something from it. So I'm going to hot glue this on. Take just a little bead here of glue right on the baseball cuff. I'm going to glue that on. Now I could take I've got like a little R or all of these crowns. I could so see putting a crown on there. Hang that on there. Okay, now let's say that I decide next year that my son's playing baseball and his team's blue and I wanna switch this out. Or let's just say next year I want a different Royals thing. Or how about when we win the, Royal, the World Series, I put a World Series champs in here. I can just open it up, pull this one out, put another one in, and I can completely switch it out and make it look different. These are awesome. Here's one, another one I made. I put a baseball glove on it. So it's really all a matter of what you like and the team you like and what you wanna do with it. Make it your own. All kinds of rhinestones, there's blue, there's red, there's, I mean, make them as sparkly as you want to make them. I hope that you've loved this idea. We totally support our Royals. And if there are any Royals fans out there, I hope you make one of these and wear them to the games. We are so excited. And if you like this tutorial, please go to divaofdiy.com where you can find this, these instructions and many, many more. I believe. Go Royals.